add, edit and manage the Git roots and environments to test. Before starting the security testing, you need to include the Git roots and environments to be assessed in Fluid Attacks Attack Resistance Management Platform. Each Git root involves at least one repository to which a deployed environment may be associated. Access the group where you want to include them. Then, go to its scope section and click on the Add New Root button. Start by entering a valid URL of the repository and the name of the branch you need to analyze. Remember we only test systems that are stored on Git. Mark the Use VPN checkbox if access to the repository is through a VPN. Enter the credentials that will be used to clone the repository. If the credentials are already in use in your organization, you can select them by their name from existing credentials. If they are not in use, you need to select the credential type. For a more secure connection, and as long as you have no restriction for providing it, choose SSH and provide the key. These keys are longer and more complex than passwords, and are not sent to remote servers. You can instead choose the second option and provide the repository user and password. And if you manage the repository through Azure DevOps, you can choose the option to provide a personal access token and the name of the corresponding organization on that platform. Then, enter a credential name so that you can recognize it later. After completing these details, click on Check Access to see if the repository can be reached successfully. Then, name the type of environment your branch syncs to. If you are adding a repository with existing code, you can choose to run a health check, so we analyze that previous work. If you choose no, we will analyze only the new code from that point onward. Optionally, you can also choose to exclude directories and files from being analyzed. When you are done, click Confirm. Once the root has been added, you can see that it is active and it is being cloned to the platform. Alternatively, you can also add Git roots by connecting with providers such as GitLab via open authorization. To do this, go back to Groups. Then click on Credentials. You have several providers to choose from. By authorizing access to your account there, we can retrieve your repositories. After you have provided authorization, you are redirected to our platform. To add the retrieved repositories to the security testing, go to Out of the Scope and click the plus signs one by one. Or select several and click on the Add New Roots button. Here are some other things you can do in the scope section regarding your Git roots. Read information about each Git root you add by clicking on these arrows. Click on an active root to edit its details, add environment URLs, and add secrets, like usernames, passwords and tokens, to share them easily with our analysts. Deactivate roots that were added by mistake or that you don't need us to test. From here, you can also just move the root to another group and keep it in the security tests. Find out about the cloning status of your repository, see if health check was requested, and show the nickname for that root. And tell the platform to clone the latest version of your repository by clicking the sync button. Search specific text in the contents of rows typing it in this search box. For example, type yes to see the roots for which health check was asked. Apply filters to facilitate your search. For example, choose to see only the active roots. And use the other buttons to show or hide columns of the table and export the table to a CSV file. These functions on our platform allow you to efficiently manage the assets you want to secure effectively and make it easy for you to provide our hackers with important information that will further help the security testing of your system. Fluid attacks, we hack your software.